safari experience in a most unexpected place. Herds of bison roam the rolling hills, grazing in pastures as far as the eye can see. Originally from South Africa, Welcome to the West Side. Fred Ilsa owns and operates Tatanka Bison Ranch, offering visitors a unique opportunity to view and learn about bison in a natural environment. Our main business here is agritourism. Our motto, which is preservation, agritourism, education. People coming out here and learning about these amazing animals and how we holistically manage our land. The sprawling 215-acre property is nestled in the heart of York County, South Carolina, about a 45-minute drive from uptown Charlotte. A lot of people are unaware that bison were indigenous to the Carolinas. From my research that I did, the last ones in the wild in South Carolina was 1798. We had prairies out here and we had big herds of bison. Together with wife Dana, they offer guided tours to groups and school children. Kids are always happy to learn new things, and we tell them everything from how we farm these animals, how we farm a ranch, and then we spend a lot of time actually with the bison uh, and showing the, the, the various features of the bison. And with Fred, no feature is off limits. And I'm gonna let you sniff some bison poop. It's an exciting time on the ranch. Mamas are all pregnant. They're expecting 12 to 14 calves this year. The couple also sell bison meat products and host events, including farm to table dinners. Tatanka is one of more than 500 registered agritourism farms in the state, though there are many more that invite the public to visit in some small way, according to Jackie Moore, marketing specialist with the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. It's growing really fast. Agritourism combines the essential elements of agriculture and tourism. Moore says the state is seeing new trends from work on a farm experiences and overnight stays to virtual visits and adult entertainment. There's a lot of fun things that kids do on a farm, like corn mazes, Easter egg hunts. Now farms are opening them up for adult versions, like having wine or beer, having an Easter egg hunt where there are coupons in them. Another new feature, hiking trails. It used to be you go to state parks when you wanted to go hiking. Well, now farms, they've got a lot of land. Um, Christmas tree farms, you know, you can they set up hiking trails through their farms. And that's a new trend um, that came out of COVID. The South Carolina Agritourism Association even started a passport program that's grown in popularity. The state prints 20,000 booklets a year. Kids can take these to the farms and they stamp them just like your little passport. And then at the end of the year, they turn it in and they get prizes. For family owned operations like Bush and Vine, diversifying their offerings means new sources of income. That really adds value to what we're doing here and makes us more sustainable. You can find Bush and Vine Farm on Filbert Highway between York and Clover. It's open all year long. A lot of it's hand labor and it's not easy. <laughs> the summertime's not fun because it's hot and so we get started as soon as the sun comes up and you know sometimes we try to quit early if it's hot but a lot of times we go till late in the evening. The land has been in Sam Hall's family for more than a century. They started growing produce in 1979. Over the years, they added an open air market where you can buy buckets of strawberries, ripe melons, and tomatoes fresh off the vine. The cafe offers sweet treats, while seasonal activities attract visitors like Beth Brennan and her two boys. They come pick so the fruits, you know, the berries that we can take home. There's a playground out back, so they love that. Brennan says it's important for kids to learn where food comes from and to support the few local farms that are left. There's so many shopping areas and new homes and things like that, so it takes up all the land. There's not as many farms anymore. We want it to be here for many generations to come. Food is important to all of us. For farmers like Hall and ranchers like Fred Ilsa, the shift to agritourism means more than just growing and selling food. The whole thing is about sharing the experience. Experiences that last a lifetime. For Carolina Impact, I'm Rochelle Metzger. We hope you enjoyed the story. If you don't want to miss any more great stories about the Charlotte region, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.